And it's so fitting that Deacon Bayou and Miss D are being inducted into the Hall of Fame together because they were thick as thieves. And when I tell you that, when you saw them coming, you knew that they had an agenda. And it was always either they were talking about food or they were talking about God. And um, I'm just so grateful to have known both of them. She was a light, she was a guidance, a teacher, a friend, and just overall someone who would be there for you no matter what. Um, Glenn loved his St. Louis community. One funny moment was when him and Bill Simon dressed up as the Blues Brothers and performed it for the senior lock-in party. How much she loved St. Louis and embodied everything that St. Louis is. Um, but also probably more importantly, how much she loved all of her students. Um, for me, like my favorite memories is anytime I needed advice or, you know, an English paper I needed him to read over or just advice on life, um, I would always turn to him. What she had most was just millions and millions of memories of St. Louis, of his students and sweethearts and just love for the school. There's uh, no other like Miss D and she surely missed but her love lives on as we walk these halls every day. Things that I remember him saying that I'll never forget is to focus on the 95% of the students who do well or who do what they're supposed to. And that way you can lift up the other 5%. So Deacon Glenn Bayou uh, was such a mentor to me. Um, every day after lunch, he and Miss D and I would walk the block around uh, Bank Street and what I wouldn't do for a day, one more day, to walk. She's been such a asset to the sweethearts, to the students, to the St. Louis families, the community, um, and she's truly missed. Being a guider, uh, an educator, uh, if you know Miss D, you love Miss D. Glenn cared about people. Glenn looked below the surface. Glenn allowed people to be. I love you, Glenn, and I miss you, and congratulations. Uh, Dee was always one who was teaching. She was a teacher at heart, and she was always one that was teaching by way of illustration, but also by way of example in her life. And we all love her and miss her, and we know that she continues to be with us in spirit. We love you, Dee. Miss Dee, man, a uh, great woman for the St. Louis community. Uh, me and her, had, I had the honor to work with Miss Dee for uh, 13 years in the same office, and she lived her life for St. Louis, and I really believe that. He was wicked smart, uh, former teacher, school principal, great preacher, and had a heavy New Orleans accent. A contagious laugh and worked very hard. He did a lot of work with our homebound. He taught CCD. He set up for mass every day, opened the church, wrote the intercessions, lots and lots of stuff that we figured out after he was gone that he took care of. Um, but mainly he was deeply personal and could keep a secret and therefore became my personal right-hand man. Dee was a fantastic dancer and a terrific choreographer. D, we love you and we miss you. Glenn lived by Micah 6 8 to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with God. Probably the virtues, and like he always prayed before and after anything that he probably did, mostly, especially in the morning and night. I think excellence was important to Papa because he always wanted you to like strive for excellence and do your best. Papa loved Jesus because he always prayed to him every day. My name's Amelia, this is Dante, and this is Rayleigh. Did she give you candy too? Yeah. Yeah? 
A lot of candy. A lot of candy. She would always let me color with her with her coloring supplies, and she would always give me candy. My favorite one was about her giving me candy. When did she give you candy? <laughs> Every time I came over. I think it's about that she she was my favorite.